Today we're going to change the clutch on a Husqvarna K760 disc cutter. First, use a 13mm hex socket spanner to turn the bolts anti-clockwise to slacken them. To release the belt tension, use a torque spanner to turn the tensioning screw anti-clockwise. You can see the belt's tension released through the window. Then remove one of the bolts holding the arm on. Next, squeeze the clip on the hose. This will allow you to slide the hose off from the connector. While supporting the blade guard with one hand, remove the remaining bolt with a hex socket spanner. Slide the belt guard off and free the belt from the pulley. Unscrew the bolt at the bottom and side of the cover using a torque spanner. Then remove the cover to reveal the clutch and free the belt. Now using a torque spanner remove the three screws to free the plastic casing at the top of the machine. This will reveal the air filter. Continue using the torque spanner to remove the two screws releasing the air filter. Then remove the gauze underneath. Next, loosen the spark plug with a 90mm hex socket spanner. Completely remove it by screwing it off by hand. Screw in a 90mm piston stop in place of the spark plug. This will enable you to lock the clutch. Use a 90mm spanner to loosen the clutch nut. With it being a left hand thread, you will have to turn it clockwise. Once the nut is loose, you can carefully spin the clutch off with your hand. You can then remove the clutch and the clutch drum from the machine along with the spacers. Whilst these parts are removed from the machine, it is a good time to check for them for wear. Inspect the clutch drum for any wear on the bearing, making sure it's still smooth. If these become damaged, it can cause the machine to seize. You can also check the clutch for wear and make sure the springs are still intact on the component. Replace these if necessary before reassembling your machine. Place the dust guard spacer onto the piston by simply pushing it on. You can now place the clutch pulley on by pushing it onto the piston. Now push on the other spacer which sits between the bearing and the clutch. To fix the clutch back onto the machine have the raised side of the clutch facing outwards. Then simply spin the clutch on by turning it anti-clockwise. Slightly tighten the clutch using a 90mm spanner. Make sure you don't over tighten as it can cause internal damage to the machine. You can then test the clutch housing is turning smoothly by rotating it. Unscrew the piston stop from the top of the machine. Place the belt and the side guard into position ensuring the belt fits into the grooves of the pulley. Secure the side guard screws using the torque spanner. Place the blade guard back into position and feed the belt around the pulley. Slide the belt cover into place and relocate the two bolts, loosely tightening. Adjust the belt tensioning screw. To get the correct tension, ensure the nut is located between the two guidelines. Then tighten the bolts with a 30mm hex socket spanner. Next, place the hoses back on. As a tip, place the pipes the other way so that the long pipe is now underneath and the small pipe is on top. 
Positioning this pipe closer to the arm of the machine will help prevent the hose getting caught during use. Now simply place your spark plug back in by hand tightening it. Use the 90mm hex socket spanner to ensure it's tight. Put the cap back on and push down to secure into place. Then place your gauze filter into position as shown. Place the air filter and orange casing back on and fix on with the torque spanner. Place the casing back over the air filter and tighten. Take care not to tighten too much into the plastic. That's how you change the clutch on a Husqvarna K760 disc cutter. All the parts and tools needed for this task are listed in the description below. Please like, share and subscribe if you found this video helpful.